Hey guys, welcome back to another random hunt. Let's see where we want to go today. Yukon Valley. Valley might be fun. Grizzlies, wolves, more moose. Let's do that. We need to check and see if we can purchase some uh, collars at this point. Should have enough money for it, but I'm just not sure about the level. I think we're like level four or something like that. We're also going to go ahead and sleep until lumber shore. All right, let's go ahead and sleep until morning. Go ahead and say gun, guns are welcome. Guns are welcome on present premises. Nice. Okay, so definitely want to have a large rifle, which I'm pretty sure we're rolling with right now. We got the 30-06 and Ranger 243. I might switch that one out for the 270, but uh, the girls seem to be doing pretty well with the 243. Don't want to really overcomplicate things. Plus, their ammo's free for that. So that's kind of nice for them to just constantly use. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to the store here, see if we can get some lures of some kind. Collars, antler, rattler, reindeer, cal uh, caribou. That's going to be 6,000. Uh, duck collar, we don't need that right now. Grunt collar, that's about the same as the bleat collar. Moose collar, that's level five. We're getting close there. So one more level, and we should be able to get that, which they'll be happy to hear about that. We really have anything for a bear, do we? No. So moose collar, I think, is what I'm going to aim for next. Yeah, it'll also unlock the elk collar. Scents, let's see here. Musk deer scent. Very specific. Okay. Whitetail. Yeah, these are all like unlocked at level five. So a lot. No, we are at level five. Why? We're at level five. Where do I can't can't access it yet? I'm not sure. Anyway. Alright, what about decoys? Nothing I'm really interested in. Consumables, let's make sure we have enough scent eliminator. We have seven left. We definitely need to buy some more of that. It's 3,000. So I have to earn back 3,000 for their bank account. 17. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. So, rest for the night here. Till about, uh, let's go for about 5 a.m. out there what is that grizzly bear can I see it from here could possibly be that easy now could it it's probably gonna be a little inaccurate because my tracking isn't that great anymore that flag sure is loud I don't actually see her anywhere you can head over that way if you want where are we pointing? That way? Yeah. Like I've said, I'm not trying to uh, camp these zones or anything like that. Put some send eliminator on. Let's start with that. Make sure we're loaded up. We are. We're loaded for bear. Alright, let's see if we can track her. It looks a little thick over here, but... Wait, do I see something over here? What is that? Nah, it's just that bush. Let's keep moving. I really don't want to head too much that way because that's a pressured area. Actually, it's all, all kind of pressured all around us here. Can I fast travel here? Yeah, we've unlocked that one. Couldn't remember if it was green or gray. But uh, that's Lumber Shore. That's our district we're in right now. Might be fun to get up here and hit these lakes in this sort of valley here. But... Uh, we do have the ATV. I could definitely head over there real quick, but I kind of want to just do a little walkabout right now. Probably need my light out right now, don't I? Probably. Still probably too dark. 
can't see anything with the uh, any any tracks with the naked eye. Unaided. Don't worry, the uh, the light the light is not uh, does not adversely affect the animals. Like they don't get spooked by it. It's, it's invisible to them. So, at least in the game. not down here on this little point. I think it's going to be further back this way. Let's get up here out of the out of that dense brush here onto some grassland. Should be able to move a little more carefully. Yeah, it looks like the sound is actually a little louder here. I'm going to slow it down. Not sure exactly exactly what time tracks turn off. Probably probably six o'clock. Get the rifle out. Got a couple need zones here apparently. Oh, we got some some sort of tracks up here. Let me see if I turn this off. What happens? Oh, we can still see him. Okay, so we don't need the light. Good to know. Sun is starting to come up pretty pretty quickly here. We got the bear tracks. Definitely walking speed. Oh, trot, huh? Okay. They didn't look like they were that spaced out that much. Now this one's running, it looks like. Wind is heading the right direction for us. This looks like a run. It's still a trot. Okay. Let's go down here. Not liking this because I think we're going to... I think the bear's down here by the shore. But... There's so much, there's so many trees in front of us. I have a feeling it's going to see us or smell us, even though the wind is good for us. We have the sun luminaire on. I have a feeling it's going to, it's going to sense us before we get a, even to get to see it. Now it's kind of going that way. Still trotting. Yeah, it's sort of headed back this way. Hasn't called out again, as far as I know. I'm looking for some scat. Let's see how old it is. Don't imagine it's too old, because um, I just spawned in, but I don't know if everything spawns in or they sort of give everything a little bit of a backstory. You might put out, you know, several dozen tracks and then place the animal somewhere. When you first spawn in, I don't think everything necessarily spawns in and starts putting its first tracks down right when you enter the game. Okay, still trying. I'm gonna try to avoid. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to avoid hitting these trees as much as I can. Any unnecessary noise. Try to avoid these branches. Not really keen on the way my scent's starting to move though. Definitely have good uh, good cover here. Oh, concealment right here. Is that the bear? That's the bear. It won't let me uh, spot it through the rifle. She, I think she sees me. I'm aiming right at the heart there. Oh, nope. She turned. I, w I would have rather taken a shot the other way, but I just want to see. I think she's the only one in the area. I'll we'll go for a heart shot right here. <laughs> That seemed to do the trick. Let's watch for more bears to be moving. 
I'm gonna be ready in case one comes running fast. But uh, I think we're good. All right, well, that should be a good hard shot right there. Dropped her right where she was standing. Oh yeah, flesh heart left long. Not a, no no chance for her. Oh, we got a bronze out of that one. Get right there. And that's the exact angle that I shot her at right there. So yeah, right in the center of the heart. Pretty happy with that. Well, that's a thousand dollars. All right, let's uh let's see where I want to go now. I think I might go up this way and sort of get out of this pressured area. So let's go ahead and fast travel here. And we might shoot over here, unlock a cabin. So I think we'll go over here, grab the ATV. Head on over to that cabin, or head over to that lookout, and then we'll unlock the cabin for that area. Try to get out of this general general zone. Expand things a little bit. Nice map. I do like this one a lot. Which one we want? Uh, I think I always go for the red one. Safety and all. It's easier to see. Alright, so let me see if I can figure out where I think the cabin's going to be. Probably here. See this little path that leads nowhere? It's probably going to be there. Or there. So anyway, let's uh, let's just give this a go. Place a waypoint here. And let's get started. Let's see if I can turn that down a little bit. It's a wee bit loud. I don't know if it does. I wish it did vehicles, but it doesn't. So while we're riding, I'm just going to half the volume here a little bit. Then I'll turn it back up once we start hunting again. I think this is the path out of here. Nope, I'm heading the wrong way. A bear. Here, I'm gonna jump off and grab this. Like I said, I'm not going after needs. Of, geez, why is there so much blood? A feeds. Oh, it's a feed zone for the bear. Okay, that makes sense. That makes total sense. I was like, I didn't shoot the bear here. Okay, well, I know my girls like to use the need zones as they're learning the game, so I'll grab that for them. Like I said, in this particular series that I'm trying to play um should I go I should go the other way around yeah I should go this way around the lake try to avoid using those as much as I can if I stumble into a one like we had last time where the bear happened to be there so be it but I'm not trying to uh just camp those a lot of a lot of youtubers just camp those need zones and grind out you know mythicals and things like that but, uh, I don't know. It sort of takes away from the spirit of the game, if you ask me, a little a little too much. We built this the other day. This was uh, one the girls wanted to see built. It's actually a good spot right here. They had, a, they had a good hunt. They had a caribou, a bear, um, a coyote, I think? Or a fox. No, it was a, it was a red fox. be a road here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not on the road. We'll get there. If I just head towards the waypoint, we'll, we'll hit the road. Yeah, somehow I crossed the road and I didn't even notice it. 
There's something up here. I don't know what it is, but there's something. As far as like a location goes. See there's a little little white dot right there. A little white area. That I think that normally if memory serves is typically a cabin. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright, let's go ahead and unlock it if it is unlocked. Yep, there it is. There's the pole. So that's a little trick, so you don't have to, like, scale every lookout to see the cabin uh, revealed. You can normally look at the map and, and kind of tell by the way the paths are laid out. But it still doesn't hurt to go and unlock, unlock the lookout either. Uh, there might be a second cabin, like, down here as well. But I kind of want to camp these area, this area right here. So what I might do is I might just camp, uh, hunt from here out to the lookout and then kind of just walk out this way. So I think that's what we'll do. Let's do that. Let's set our waypoint here. Start heading that way. Which way is that? That way. Okay. Park pretty far out from uh, our hunting area. That way we don't spook every animal within, you know, half a click. Oh, yeah. Let's turn up the uh, volume for you guys a little bit here. Now that we're off the quad. Yeah, I really, I really wish they had a... Really wish they had an ATV uh, sound option there. Because it's, for me at least, it's un unbelievably loud. Alright, let's see what we can get into, guys. We've already got ourselves a bear. A bronze. So we can do a little bit better than that. Unfortunately, we're walking sort of the wrong direction for our set. But we'll just have to remember that and be extra careful. Maybe have to do some flanking maneuvers. I think I can see where it kind of opens up down there a little bit. Through this through this tree line ahead of us. Looks like there's a nice valley. Because you see the trees over over here sort of fall down into it as well. And looking at the map, there's not too much going on with the topographical lines. The contour lines, I guess, right? Basically, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good direction. Pretty happy with that. Once I get down here to these trees, I'm going to take a quick peek around. Get a little bit low. Just be a little careful in case there is something decent out here. If it hasn't smelt me already, hopefully we can get the drop on it. Let's take a quick peek around. Zoom out a little bit. So I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but since uh, I got rear-ended on my motorcycle, I uh, picked out a new one. I went with a, uh, I didn't want to break the bank on it, but I did want something a little more sports touring. So I went with the 2012 BMW R 1200 RT. I happened to get it from uh, Moto Ohio Columbus BMW dealership. And it came in on a, it wasn't even a trade-in on a new bike or anything. It was a loyal customer of theirs who was a member of their BMW riders group. 80 years old and he was just getting out of, he was getting out of motorcycling. He's uh, put 46,000 miles on it, but he's had all his scheduled maintenance done there at that dealership. A bunch of extras on the bike too. Um, aftermarket, I want to say it was Riley or O'Reilly. He did see we got some sort of tracks here. These don't look huge. 
Maybe fox, coyote, something like that. Wolf, I don't know. A couple of them. Maybe a herd or something. But, uh, aftermarket heated seat. Looks like some scat down there. That might be bear. If it isn't associated with this. Yeah, we got red fox. Eh, I'm not too interested in that. Those are kind of good to get. Okay, so that's a scat over here. Let's go check it out. But, uh, yeah, it's got a heated front and rear seat, heated grips, um, electronically adjustable windshield, so you can be driving down the highway and just, it's fresh. Maybe we'll try to call it in. This is a good spot to call in a fox, so, um, I don't think we're going to run into a bad area where we're not going to be able to see them, but, uh, let me try to get up here above this hill and see if we can call this thing in. It's got a Clear water. Driving lights added. To think what else? Top box. Side cases. BMW top box. Got that. Side cases, of course, included. Crash bars. No. Oh. Uh, those look like big bear tracks. I don't want to go for those, but I think Fox actually pays more. Yeah, he's running, so he got a little spooked. Let's take a look at these over here real quick. I might return. Let's see what we got. This looks like moose. It's going the wrong direction for us, but it will put our wind at the correct direction for this hunt. So I might go with this moose because it's a female. Nope, wrong for the fox. It's got a uh, headlight cover that goes over top of the the glass of the, it's like a piece of plexiglass shaped exactly like the headlight. You can't even notice it. You're, it's really hard to notice unless you get up close. And it just adds like a, a cover in case, you know, a rock is kicked up and would, would break the uh, original headlight casing. So I imagine that's pretty expensive to fix. So that's kind of cool. Well taken care of, man. So anyway, uh, check it out. They, they ran a... Uh, so now that's old. Suddenly that became old. Hmm. I might just uh, keep moving on this and not even worry. I think this is still going to be the female. I think this is the only one. If it's male, then I'll track it, but I'm not going to go for the female. So getting mixed messages from the fox droppings. Yeah, I, I wrote it. Runs great. Uh, one little problem was it felt like the rear brake was a little took a little bit more force than necessary. Like on a on a slight hill, had to really make sure that I was putting max pressure down on the brake to keep it from sliding back. If I went try to do like ninety percent pressure, it would start to roll back, and I was like, that didn't, this just didn't feel right. So I told him about. It. I said maybe it's just come, coming from a smaller bike with huge Brembo brakes, and I'm just not used to, you know this but uh if they could check it out that'd be awesome they found us then they, they did they checked it out they did a recall on a fuel pump that was required uh, since i was there and they already had the fuel pump they were like might as well do it so they already had it in there just sort of making everything perfect um and they said that there was some sort of a seal in the brake that did need replaced uh they took it out for a ride and agreed that it didn't feel quite right and upon further evaluation, they discover that. So they're going to replace that for free. Even though I'd already bought the bike. But I haven't actually taken it off the lot yet. So they're going to do that. They said, that's... We're going to make sure you ride off in a 100% safe bike. Because uh, giving you a bike that has brakes that are working, but not quite, you know, at what they should be. That's not how we roll. I was like, I like that. So, anyway, I'm excited to go pick that up on uh, Wednesday. So, three more days. Well, no. What, today's Saturday? No, technically it just turned Sunday. Yeah, three more days. I'll be going down to pick it up. It overnighted the part, but uh, FedEx was running slow. So since they're closed Sunday and Monday, they'll get around to it Tuesday, and it will be should be ready on Wednesday for pickup. So I'm excited for that. Ready to, uh, I mean, it was so smooth out there compared to R90, R90, I should say. Going over bumps, even railroad tracks and things like that, is just like so smooth. It was butter, and it has a—it's so snappy on the steering. I mean, the steering is just like 
unbelievably light and just uh, very sporty steering, but the uh, ride is very much uh, very much at a tour level. So I'm looking forward to doing that and then bringing some uh, nice rides along. Uh, or bringing you guys along for some nice rides on my sister channel, Rider Oasis. If you need a link to it, just go to my main page for Accurage 2. And on my banner, there's a YouTube link, and it's to Rider Oasis. So if you want to go over there and subscribe, that's cool. I still haven't released my uh, crash video where I got rear-ended. Uh, I need to do that. Just been busy with The Long Dark, Chapter 4, and this, and Neo Scavenger, and that sort of stuff. So it's sort of taking plus doing the insurance stuff and finding a new bike and work. So yeah, there's some there's a herd of so yeah, we got a herd out here. It's like elk or caribou, I should say. So that's trivial. That one's easy. So that was a four and that one's a four. I think this one has a better rack. So I'm gonna I'm gonna target that one. All the rest look like females. And I think I can I, I can reach that one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to brush that nose of that female right there. Let's go ahead and bring out a shot here on this one. Definitely hit it. I'll keep an eye on him. Ran back that way somewhere. Should drop soon. Pretty sure that one should float in pretty nicely. Bullet drop and all that at that distance. I aimed a little bit high. Okay. I didn't see him drop, but it doesn't mean he didn't drop behind this tree where I can't see him. So I'm just basically gonna try to do my best to gauge where I think he's at. He did he did die, because we got the uh we got the marker here. So where I hit him should be right in the middle of this. Because this reflects, again, I think I explained it in the last episode, this reflects where I hit him at, not necessarily where he died. Otherwise, you'd just be able to run straight to the middle of it and find his carcass every time. So it should be right about there if we look through the scope. That's pretty accurate. Is he coming back from... This is uh, the other one. He's coming back to the watering hole, looks like. All right. Well, if he wants to come back, I'll... Wait and shoot him. That's the smaller one. I think the bigger one's back here. Coming back in. So we'll let them come back in. They want to uh, offer themselves up. So be it. We'll take that one down next. Let me try this one. Yeah, we want that one. That's the one we want. Yeah, okay. That's the one we want once he settles in here. That should be a good shot on him, too. He's hurt. I think I neck, neck shot that guy. I don't think I hit him in the heart. I think that's not going to be a good hit, like a great hit, because no organs hit, at least. I think I hit that one right in the neck. So. Okay. I think we're good. If we look back here, we should see three now. It's hard to tell. They're so overlapped. Anyway, let's go ahead and head back down here. I feel like I should be picking up my brass for reloading purposes, like in the long dark. It took me a long time to get into the habit of doing that. Now, it's like feels like I have to do it. Got, uh, got one. I see one there. Not sure about the other ones, but... One. Is that it? Now yeah, let's go follow some blood trails. Wasn't really planning on hitting caribou, but here we are. Pretty sure 30 out 6 is ethical for caribou. I didn't really check, but pretty sure. Got more moose tracks here, it looks like. Oh, it's caribou. 
Probably the probably this group right here. Are they coming back for more? They are. I got one boy right here. I might take a shot at him. I think that's the miner, isn't it? Yeah. And that one's a trivial. Right, I'll go for that miner. Right there. As soon as he lifts his head, I want to go for a heart shot. Hopefully I can get it. I need to... Ooh, that's tough. Let me move over. It's going to be tough. Wait till he... Uh, wait for my heart to stop bouncing around there. Okay. Yeah, that might be a long shot. It was high. A little high for the heart shot. At this distance, not that much of a drop. Sort of over overestimated the drop a little bit. Coming at me. What the hell is this? I think that's the one I injured. Yeah, his head was down. I don't know if I hit him a second time. Oh, oh, shh. Snap. I got stampeded. I definitely hit this one here, though. Alright. Well, I think I, I think I tracked this one first. Bleed late, right low. This isn't going to be a good one. Uh, its head was down. That made me think that it was already injured. Maybe it was injured and it just got two two hits that were low bleed rates. And I got, I got ran over. Yeah, we know it's very fresh. That was a female, huh? See, I thought when it had its head down, it had antlers. So yeah, that wasn't one that I aimed at. This is just a one-shot deal. I thought for sure I was trying to bring down an injured one. Well, since the bleed rate is low on this, I think we're going to run back, get all these, let that one drop. Rather than keep pushing it forward. Let's go grab the ones that we know for sure that we uh, dropped back here and had pretty good hits on. Heck, I can see it from here, actually. Between the trees laying there. Then we'll come back and grab this one for some bonus points. Yeah, I think I think the one that's down up here is the, is the next shot. I'd be I'll be surprised if it's a heart shot. <laughs> Lost about a quarter of my health right there. If you die, it's not a big deal. You just go back to your cabin and start start again there. Uh, oh, okay, we got one over here. Not sure. This 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 isn't the one I was. I dropped right right away. This is one of the better ones. That was a double lung. So yeah, class six. Uh, yeah, that should be the thirty out six. A gold. All right. Got ourselves a gold. We'll take it. Let's see the angle here. That was the angle. That was a pretty good shot. I dropped it in real nice. I'm going to accept that one. Let's go grab this one up here. Ah, this is going to be the next shot. I think. I think. Oh no. Heart and left lung. I think that's the one I hit on the move. It looks like he is moving in that. Yeah, see his back legs up. I think he was walking. Somehow I got lucky and hit him right in the heart. So, we'll take that bronze. All right, now let's get over here and see if we can find that blood from uh, the first one, I think, is what I'm looking for here. Back here somewhere.
this blood over here? What is this? Is that just... Yeah, it's just reflection. Thought it was right about in this general area, right where my marker was. Let's see if I can. Female, definitely not that one. Male, maybe. Alright. I think I got. It must be this male. Okay, here it is. That looks like a medium sized amount of blood there. Non vital organ hit. Very old. Alright, now the trick is which one do we need to track? Yeah, we're gonna lose points for it not being for it being not vital. Alright, so he ran. Question is which way did he run? There's some. But they were running all over the place like crazy. It's going to be a hard one to find because they kept going back and forth so much. More blood. That helps. Okay. I think we're on the track. This is the correct track. Yeah. Very, very low. But we'll get there eventually. He's had plenty of time to die. hill just over top of this hill probably and I think that's about where they decided to turn around and come back very old yeah more blood Take a while. Ah, I see him. He's right up here. Yeah, that was not a good kill. Pretty. Stomach. Ah. Was that my first shot? I don't know. Ooh, I just nicked it too. Not the best. Got a bronze on that one. No vital organ hit. We were penalized for that. I was. You guys didn't do anything wrong. It's all me. Alright guys. Well, I'm looking here at the clock. Wouldn't normally go back and grab that female that I hit back there, but uh, it's about time to end this episode. I'm trying to keep these shorter. Between uh, 30 and 45 minutes, and we got, uh, what, uh, three caribou and a bear. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.